Good morning. Well, it's good morning where I am. I'm Ruth from English Test Help and IELTS Help. What can you see and hear? This is a good exercise and it will help you remember better to make your learning real and more personal and then you can remember better. Listen. What can you see? What can you hear? Let's work on our noun phrases. I can see two little black dogs with fluffy tails. I can see a winding, narrow country road. I can see tall Australian gum trees. And I can see some clouds that look like that look like it's going to rain. Can you speak with complex noun phrases? Let's have a look. How did you go? Did you notice all these noun phrases? There's a lot of words for one noun phrase. So how do English speakers put all of these words together? The first one was two little black dogs with fluffy tails. We start with a number, then we put the adjectives. There can be more than one adjective, little and black. Then there's the main noun. And finally, it's really common to put a preposition with, on, to, over, of. So we call this a prepositional phrase. The next one was a winding narrow country road. What's a, a, an, the? That's an article, then the adjectives, and then a compound noun which is just a way to say two nouns together, country, road. Next one was tall Australian gum trees. This one notice, this is plural, S, plural. So S, plural, general, nothing specific, no article. So no article, adjective, a country adjective, and then a compound noun, noun, noun again. The last one was some clouds that look like it's going to rain. And you can see here this word that. That is a relative pronoun starting a relative clause. So this is to add more information, more information. Some clouds that look like it's going to rain. So we have a quantifier. Then the main noun is clouds, some clouds, and then who, which, or that, and more information. What else can you see and hear? Just listen first and see if you can um, find the noun phrases. What can you see now? I can see a green rubbish bin on wheels and I can see an old house that definitely needs repair. I can see a road sign there, a road sign telling the cars there is a sharp bend to the right and I can see an electricity pole. All right, did you hear them? The first one was a green rubbish bin on wheels. The second one was an old house that definitely needs repair. Number three, a road sign telling the cars that there's a sharp bend to the right. And finally, we have an electricity pole.
there's a simple one for you. How did these go together? A green rubbish bin on wheels starts with an article a, uh, adjective green, rubbish bin compound wheel noun, and on wheels is a prepositional phrase. Here's the second one, an old house that definitely needs repair. <gasps> Article again, a bin, a house, or in this case we need an old because o is the beginning of the next word. So an is the article, old is the adjective, house is the main noun, that starts the relative clause with more information. Now the next one is probably the most complicated. We've got article a, road sign is a compound noun. Then we've got telling, I-N-G, telling, and then all of this more information. Telling is a reduced relative clause beginning. Now don't worry about it, just try and use it. And an electricity pole is article followed by a compound noun. Remember a compound noun is noun noun. All right, before I go, now it's your turn. What can you see? Try article, adjective, noun, and then more information. What do you think? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. It's a little boy blowing out birthday candles. Article, adjective, noun, and then a reduced relative clause with ing. What can you see? Five, four, try by yourself. Three, two, one. Ah, one, a dairy farmer in front of his cows. We've got an article. We've got a compound noun, dairy farmer. In, in front of, prepositional phrase. This is very common. And one more. Oh my goodness, I would never wear this. It's an ugly, in my opinion. We put the opinion adjective first. An ugly knitted Christmas sweater. Article. Adjective, adjective, Christmas sweater is a compound noun. I hope you learnt a lot from that little video. I'm here to help. Please email me or find me on Facebook and YouTube. Bye.